Yeah, all right. I hear what you say. Uh, hmm. Into the lion's den. Fine. So, ultra tight security, right? I'd like to help, fam, but now I just caught a whiff now. Before the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. You all right? You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? Yeah. No. I didn't. Well, I did, but I didn't want to think about it. Besides, we've no choice. Nigel Cass is meeting with a bunch of toffs about a new Albion project. You know that's going to be a fucking cock up for everyone, right? Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in our pub. And near this place? Quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Huh. Interesting. Can you send me their personal info? I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. Hey, you been? Yeah, hi. Hey, presto! This is a zombie apocalypse! Ah. Fight! Uh. DedSec needs your help. I'm en route. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look.
cannot wait for Friday, mate. Simmons? Do you know him? Anyway, no matter. He's the one who organized our team building activity. He's rounded up a few of the prisoners they brought in a little while ago. The ones who didn't have any relatives. He figures it'll make for an easier time when we declare him missing. Right, so the fun part. He's gonna release them into an open field while we get our shots in. I'll bet you a pint I can get rid of ten before you. <laughs> You're on, you slimy bastard. there'd be murder drones. everywhere. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You certainly know an awful lot about Nigel Cass. Yeah, I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <sighs> he was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius, and I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Oh, for God's sake. Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later.
They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have models. This door clearly requires a security pass. Grand. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. Burn down. That's what I told you. Yeah. The whole damn building. You've been up there, Lip? There are some parts of this city that need a good working water. So what you want about them? Well, they're doing their job, right? Yeah, you know, I know. To me. But there's always an element that's going to resist all. Sure, so that's what we're taking care of them. No, no. I've heard some talk on the street that they may be back. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassini's death. Let's see it. Internal Psych Assessment AS001 Subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Good Lord, our Nigel does have issues. And now all of London is trapped in his little psychodrama. Yeah, well... Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. How are you getting on with those metrics? The deadline is coming up quickly. We wouldn't do to miss it. He's presenting to the stakeholders right now. I know, I know, but if I mess this up, and the whole project is delayed for... I don't know how long. Don't what even joke about it. I don't even want to think about what Director Cass would do. Just, just make sure you... Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you that with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, 
I was hoping you'd call us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really Gosh, should have more government consultation. We can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. It's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention! A building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to Dodge Bridge. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. I need an exit, pronto. The catacombs, fam. Director Cass, I've been unable to reach the Commissioner's office. He's stalling. Doesn't matter, it won't change anything. I won't allow it to change anything. Damn him, yet another fool who knows what the right thing to do is, but lets emotions get in the way. He's still scheduled to attend. Would you like him removed? No. Despite all, we need to work with the official government to send a security detail to make sure he attends. Dress it like a state privilege and sit him front and center at the meeting. He'll be key to my getting the others to fall into line.
all night, you're an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very, uh... persuasive. Sounds like he plans to launch Themis ASAP. And from the way he was talking, I don't think it's the sort of genie that goes back in the bottle. I don't like this one bit. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. I'll start the briefing whenever you're ready. All right. This is a bad one. Someone in 404 sent me a text file. DedSec's international safe houses have been compromised. Does the name Heat Bolton mean anything to you? No. Didn't think so. Bolton was a small-time player with Dead Sec Houston until he ratted out the whole cell and fled the country. Now he's in London, and he's willing to sell all of Dead Sec's secrets to the highest bidder. Wonderful. Yeah, I know. Being associated with Dead Sec's been good for my brand, and I don't want that getting fucked. I'll send you this text file. The rest is up to you. The American State Department keeps tabs on all their citizens abroad. 
If you want to find Heath Bolton, hack the CTOS hub at the American Embassy, and I can use their records to track him down. Thank you, sweetie. DedSec, I got a call about a possible kidnapping. I'll send you the caller's info. Sounded like it was connected to something big. We have a real chance to seek justice here. All right. We'll see what we can do. Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project. But their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new microdrone. Something my contact told me about. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To bypass Tidus security. Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot were a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. Coming up on the Albion drone facility where the micro drone is being developed. This had better be worth it. It will be. You're gonna need to disable the security system protecting the R&D lab. All right, time to stomp on some ants.
No position. Security's down in the R&D lab. The plans for the microdrone will be in there somewhere. Downloaded the schematics. You can leave whenever you like. Now that we have the schematics, we can make micro-drones of our very own. Better move fast on that, Bags. We need to get into Tidus ASAP. Shut down Project Themis before Nigel decides to launch. And with what he was saying, we don't have much time.